Here to offer us an exclusive sneak preview of what to expect this year is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Wow. <laughs> Good evening, Your Majesty. <laughs> this is rather awkward. Oh. Here. Here, James. Thank you. Well, ha <laughs> ha. Mm. We really appreciate you taking the time to speak to us. Are you excited for this year's speech? Oh, terribly. You see, this is the one time of year when I get to speak to my subjects without having to be in the same room as them. <laughs> it's hard enough being in the same country. Have you seen these people? Filthy buggers. Now, the royal family had a big year. Can viewers expect you to touch on Harry and Meghan's wedding? Oh, of course. What a glorious day and night. You should have seen how wild I got at the reception. I drank nearly two gin and Dubonnets, and the next thing I knew, I was patting Idris Elba's bottom and filter bombing George and Amal Clooney. <laughs> My goodness, sounds fun. Oh, yes. And how do you get along with Megan? Megan and I have so much in common. We both have embarrassing sisters, we both have inbred husbands, and we've both been humoring the Milroneys for years. Okay, I think we all have that in common with Megan. Yes. So William and Kate gave you a new great-grandson this year. Are you going to address that? Oh, yes. Those two jackrabbits. The way they keep humping and pumping and churning out baby after baby. It's indecent. <laughs> Reminds me of me. <laughs> but, but do you like your new great-grandson? Oh, little Prince Louis. He's adorable. And Miguel. Do you know what's funny? What's that? He can't speak, walk, or use the toilet yet, but he's already wealthier than both of you. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you're Canadian comedians, so the boom bike operator probably makes more than you two <laughs> because you're poor. <laughs> you're so poor. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Quite. But it wasn't all celebratory. Sadly, this year I lost the love of my life. Oh, my, my gosh. Did Prince Philip die? How did I not hear about that? No, not Philip, silly. I'm talking about Whisper, my favorite corgi. <laughs> he died tragically when I tried to give him a knighthood and sneezed. Oh. So much blood. Oh, uh, our terrible. condolences. Mm. Speaking of Prince Philip, what can you tell us about his decision to retire from public life? Will he go back to Stonehenge and finish what he started all those years ago? Or? <laughs> Rest assured, Emma, there's still some petrol left in his tank. He told me the other day he intends to live just long enough to see the Spice Girls reunion. He's a huge Posh fan. Oh, I, I don't think Posh is joining the tour. Oh, dear. Well, then he might as well die now. <laughs> uh, moving on, Your Majesty, before we let you go, what do you have to say about the sorry state of the world? Well, it's grim out there. Donald Trump is dividing America. Brexit is paralyzing Britain. And somehow, that ghastly Pierre Trudeau is still running Canada. <laughs> Dreadful man. Although I wouldn't mind getting his plastic surgeon's number. He hasn't aged a day. Oh, actually, that's his son, Justin. What? Oh, I would never let my son take power. Oh, TMI. But <laughs> I truly believe that we should all work together for peace and understanding. And if I'm wrong, well, I'm 92. Someone else could deal with this nonsense after I'm gone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Canada. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, thank you for joining us, Your Majesty. Her Majesty the Queen, everyone. <laughs> wow.